Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing. It's been a while since I did one of those on this channel. But anyways, uh, I got a package in the mail and it's probably already obvious by the title that what's in here are some vintage Matchbox cars. I purchased these off eBay and that's because, hang on a second, uh, I'm looking into getting into collecting these older Matchbox cars and this is because of the YouTuber Marty's Matchbox Makeovers. I've been watching his videos for uh, quite a few months now and I've just really enjoyed uh, watching his restorations and kind of after watching his videos there for a while made me want to get into collecting these older matchboxes and of course I found this bundle on eBay and got it at a good price I think it was like ten dollars free shipping so we'll go ahead and open stuff up here and We'll go ahead and take a closer look at these after I get everything out of the package. And oh, dang, tape all over. Okay, there's that. Might go ahead and just uh, skip through this, just so I don't bore everyone. I uh, think that's what I'm going to do. Just go ahead and skip through get everything out of the bubble wrap here and we'll come back afterwards. All right, so these are all the cars that came in the package. There is 12 in total. They're all in rough shape, some more than others, but uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at these. And I think the first one we'll start with is this little yellow one right here. I wasn't exactly sure what this was at first until I looked on the bottom here and it says number 37 cattle truck and to say the least this has seen better days uh, the first thing I can obviously say is that there's probably a box missing back here uh, would have uh, maybe came with some cows but uh, definitely you know I'd say there would be a box back here but uh, another thing is you can see the cab is in really rough shape. Uh, one of the first things I noticed was I'd say somebody's used this truck for target practice because that looks like a bullet hole right there. And I'd say if this truck had a windshield or an interior or both, it's long gone because of, well, a little bit of uh, target practice they did. I can see supports or pillars, whatever you want to call them. Those are gone. Cab roof is crushed in. It's, uh, yeah, this is definitely, I'd say this truck's about good, good for parts and not much else. There's not a whole lot left here other than a frame and some wheels. Just my thoughts on it. Uh, interestingly, you can see you got the word Dodge there on the front. I don't know. This <laughs> possibly be a good one. To send over to Marty. Tell him, hey, here, dare you to restore this. And I mean, personally, I I bet you he could pull it off. But uh, yeah, that's the number thirty-seven cattle truck. Uh, I think we'll move on and take a look at something a little more interesting. So this number thirty-eight wheel crane, I'd say, is the best out of the whole lot in terms of condition. Because other than excessive paint loss and the front axle being bent, you know, it's all here. Nothing's broken off, nothing's missing. And uh, maybe the hook has a bit of wear to it. And I can also see somebody put a sticker on the roof. Wonder if this might have belonged to someone named Betty. Uh, kind of doubtful, personally. And I noticed there is. On other trucks in this lot as well, there's these little tags here. Now, I don't know if that's maybe something a collector had or a vendor put on these to sell them, but uh, it's a bit curious. Uh, yeah, I remember it was the YouTuber Bare Metal HW. He did a restoration slash custom with one of these cranes. And if I remember, 
uh, possibly go ahead and leave a link to the video for you guys to check out if you haven't already. But uh, yeah, I think we're going to keep up this trend of looking at trucks and we'll take a look at another one here. So this is the next one we're going to look at and it says under here, this is a DAF truck and oh here we are number 58 girder truck and ooh I'd say this is another truck somebody used for target practice just looking at the bottom you see that area there where the paint loss is uh, yeah I'd say somebody else shot this they must have been shooting BBs would be my guess but uh, yeah this truck is missing the girders that would be on the back here and there is another one of those tags and other than that it does look complete I can see the front axle is rusted and the wheel is kind of rusted onto the axle but uh, this truck still has its windshield thankfully but yeah, I'd say somebody was using that for target practice. Uh, this one probably escaped a little less unscathed than what that cattle truck did. Uh, not sure anything else to say about this, but yeah, uh, there's that one. So we were looking at the girder truck, and now we are looking at the number 10 pipe truck. And I remember it was either last month or the month before, Marty did a restoration on one of these. And uh, I'll go ahead and leave a link to that if I um, remember. But first thing I can notice is the windshield is gone. I don't think it's been shot out because there's no evidence around the cab that would suggest that. Uh, I'd say probably somebody took a screwdriver or something, just punched it in there and busted the windshield because it's completely gone and really the only way to get it out of there would have been to break it. But yeah, that's completely missing. Uh, might be some damage around the front bumper here. Not sure. I also noticed that back here one of the stakes is gone. It's been snapped off and probably went missing a while ago. And the bed itself also has a little bit of a kink in it right there. And uh, pipe load is gone. I think there would have been like maybe six pipes that went on this. Yeah, they're completely gone. And another thing I noticed is that some of the wheels are actually seized onto these axles. These axles are pretty rusty. So, yeah, but... It's not in too bad a shape. Oh, there's another one of those tags, by the way. But, yeah, it's not in too bad a shape. It's uh, definitely, I'd say it's been heavily played with. Well, I'm going to go ahead and wheel in the next one. Give me a second. There we go. This one I was really happy to get because it's, well, possibly one of my favorites. I just like the fact that it has a little trailer with it. But this is the number one Mercedes truck, and this is another one I remember Marty did a restoration of. But this one, about the only problem I can see with it, aside from the paint loss, is that the windshield is gone. And it's another case I'd say somebody punched it out. I mean, somebody must have just been bored and they just, you know, hammered this stuff. But other than the windshield, the rest of the truck is here. It's, you know, the wheels are there, nothing else is missing, and a little bit of dirt in the back. But, yeah, it's all here. And then also got the trailer that goes with it. This is, what do they call this? The number two Mercedes trailer. And, uh, yeah, again, you got a little bit of paint loss on this. But uh, I did say that the truck's all here, but I just remembered... Both the truck and trailer actually came with tarps, and those are MIA. But other than that, you know, I'm quite happy with this. Nice little truck. And uh, go ahead and take a look at another Matchbox here.
Next up is the number 50 John Deere tractor with the number 51 trailer. And starting off with the tractor, uh, the wheels don't really stay on too well. Uh, they've definitely seen better days. The front tires, I'm not sure if these are original or not. Uh, I've honestly never seen them like that, so I'm kind of thinking somebody just threw on whatever they had. Steering wheel's still there, hasn't been broke. And, uh, yeah, not a whole lot more to say about that. The trailer is the same deal. I'd say those are not the tires that are supposed to be on there. And someone has put glitter in the back of the bed. Uh, yeah, uh, it does tilt. And, uh, yeah. Definitely in rough shape though. Uh, give me a second here. I'll go ahead and show you. I actually have another one of these. Hang on a second. Alright, I'm back. Uh, move this aside here. But this is the other John Deere tractor I have with the trailer. And this I purchased at the toy show back in April. And you can see this is in far better condition. But the tires take little to nothing to pop off. Uh, kind of surprised they actually stayed with the tractor for that long and that's why I say that you know you look at the front tires on this tractor they should be more like that in my opinion I don't think those are the correct tires and I mean I also got a trailer here this I had uh, apparently someone in the family this was theirs when they were younger but it it is missing the tires but it's also in far better condition than what the other trailer is so I mean uh, there's basically a look at the two John Deere tractors I have. Uh, possibly wouldn't mind go ahead and uh, restore this one. See what happens, maybe. Alright, coming down to the last couple pieces here. I got a, this is a number 40 hay trailer. And this is the second one of these I got, which I'll show you here in a second. But uh, the tires are still with it. They seem to be, some of them seem to be held on pretty well, others are loose. I'd say it's missing two hay racks, which would be on each side of the wagon. Might have came with some bales, not 100% sure. But, uh, yeah, excessive paint loss, so on. But if I bring in the one I've had, and again, just like that trailer I showed, uh, someone in the family apparently had this in their younger years and it was just passed down, but it's missing tires. But, uh, so, yeah, second one of those, not really a bad thing. It's a shame they didn't, didn't put a rear hitch on that. That would have been, tote those in tandem. But, uh, eh, we'll go ahead and take a look at something else now. Alright, just to make things go a little quicker, I'm going to look at both of these trailers at the same time. And we'll start with this one right here. This is a number nine, uh, number nine, number nine, uh, I don't really know, it doesn't say. I'm just going to say this is a number nine boat trailer because that's what it looks like. And if that is the case, it's obviously missing a boat and, well, <laughs> what more can I say? Uh, just, you know, a trailer, boat trailer, as I'm calling it. But this one here I've seen half a dozen times on Marty's channel. And this is the number 38 Honda motorcycle trailer. I mean, literally, he seems to be getting a bunch of these in lately. Uh, and obviously this is missing the motorcycle that would have been on it. And... Uh, yeah, uh, Marty, if you're watching, you want another one of these. Uh, it's yours. <laughs> Moving on. All right, so this last truck here uh, made me realize something. And the first thing is, this is not Matchbox. And it's actually from a company called Tootsie Toy, which is in Chicago of USA, or it was. And recently, I donated a car to Marty that I thought was Matchbox because it had these style wheels. I thought those were Matchbox wheels. 
Uh, well, I've just now realized my mistake. Um, whoops. But anyways, on to this crane here. Uh, not really a whole lot I can say about it. Uh, plastic bit on the back here. It's obviously missing the crane arm. Uh, paint chips and really uh, I don't know not much more I can say about this uh, I honestly thought this was matchbox at first when I bought you know when I bought everything on eBay but it's like now I realize oh, okay this isn't actually matchbox looks like it but it's not so uh, yeah so there's another look at the 11 matchbox cars I got in plus the one imposter right here but I'm going to go ahead and put a few of these into my collection, and the rest are probably going to get on-sold. And it's one of those deals that I want to get back into collecting older Matchbox cars again. I started doing it there for a while. Uh, a friend of mine up in Wisconsin there, I bought some 164 scale stuff from him, and he threw in a bunch of older Lesney stuff as a freebie, and I also picked up a few things at flea markets, but... It's one of those deals, I kind of got out of it there for a little while until I started watching Marty's channel, and it was one of those deals. Uh, put simply, Marty got me back into wanting to collect older Matchbox again, so Marty, you've got a lot to answer for. But uh, another thing is, I'd possibly consider giving uh, Matchbox restorations a try as well. But at the same time, I don't really, you know, I'm not going to become one of those channels where I do Matchbox restorations 24-7. But it's something I'd like to try my hand at maybe in the future. See what happens. But anyways, I guess that's going to conclude this video. If you like what you see, be sure to comment, subscribe, like, all that other stuff everyone else seems to say at the end of the videos. But uh, I will have some more older Matchboxes coming in here in the coming weeks. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this, please let me know. I'll be sure to upload them. And uh, that's going to be it for now. Take care, everyone.